Hi, this is Gary Roymeyer from Convergement America. Today we're going to look at the three spheres of outreach. You know, in every church there are the, what I call these three spheres of outreach. First one is the, the leader, the, 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 the sphere that the leader has influence over. So you might be a pastor, you might be a church planter, and the fact is that you are relationally connected with so many people in your community. So that's the first one. The second one is people who are connected to your people. So let's say you have a church of 100 people. Um, if you were to just figure out that, well, let's say our people, uh, each family is really connected with 20 other people. So that would say that, okay, out of 100, that means there's 2,000 people that are relationally connected with the people in our church. So that's another, another sphere, okay? But then the third sphere is what we call the people who are unconnected. They're not connected with the leader and they're not connected with your people in the church, but they live in your community. And so those are people who are just plain unconnected with you or the, or the influence of your church. So the key thing is, what are the strategies that go along in each one of these spheres? So the first strategy for the leader is the leader needs to learn how to, how to what I would say, they need to learn how to model, model evangelism. They need to learn how to model it. They need to learn how to build relationships. They need to learn how to get into spiritual conversations. They know how to interact with leaders, leaders within the community. And so they model it. And they, they got to figure out how much time am I going to spend in outreach, right? In outreach to my community. And I'm going to be very strategic in how I do that. So you need to, you know, as the, the leader needs to model the evangelistic lifestyle. It's always said, you know, the speed of the leader, speed of the team. You show, me, you show me a church that has a pastor who's passionate about reaching people with the gospel and building relationships with people far from God, and I'll show you a church that is growing and has a heartbeat for reaching people with the gospel. The second sphere is, is people connected to your people. So what is the strategy for that? The strategy for that is, is that you need to equip people. You need to equip people in how to build relationships with their friends, how to share the gospel with their friends and with their neighbors, how to include them uh, in, in spiritual conversations, how to include them in maybe even service projects in your community, how to invite them to an outreach event, how to invite them to a small group. You know, we need to be constantly be equipping our people in how to build those relationships. You know, one pastor uses the term, teach them how to invest and invite. Teach them how to, to invest and invite uh, in, into, the life, into the life of the church. And so there's the, the equipping process. You know, one leader says this, if you really want to have a church that's evangelistic, you need to figure out how to equip at least one third of your church in evangelism every year. Okay, think about that. That means you got to train one third of your church. If you have a church of, of a, a thousand, that means you've got to you got to learn how to train three hundred people a year in how to share their faith. If you have a church of a hundred, you need to train train thirty some people a year in how to share their faith with the gospel. That constant equipping is critical uh, uh, for having effective outreach. And then the third strategy is, what do you do with the unconnected people? What do you do? I, I believe that the church has a responsibility to the people in your community that are completely unconnected. At one of my seminars, I sat down with a pastor and I said, I said, tell me how many people are connected with you. How many people know you're the pastor of this local church? And he said, well, okay, probably about 200 because I'm pretty engaged and active in my community. I said, great. I said, how many people do you have coming to your church on an average basis, on a weekly basis? He said, well, I bought 100. I said, okay. So, and how many of those people are connected? How many people are connected to them? And he said, well, let's just say 20 per family. So that's, uh, you know, 100 times 20 is 2,000, two right? So basically that church's impact and influence is about 2,200 people. But they live in a community of 50,000. So what do you do with that 48,000 people? How do you reach them? What's our responsibility to them? And I believe it's this. I believe it's the, 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 the strategy is when we talk about we need to learn how to sow. We need to learn how to sow seeds of awareness in our community. And every church has got to figure out what that looks like. 
sowing seeds of love through incarnational compassion ministry, sowing seeds of awareness through marketing and, and uh, uh, sending out direct mailers and flyers and every good signage. Uh, they, you, every church has got to figure it out, how they're going to sow into the community. And so this will, I think this will just help you as you look at the three spheres. It'll help you kind of develop the strategies uh, to move forward. And the fact is, I believe growing churches, churches that are evangelistic in nature, are clicking at every level of this. The leaders are modeling evangelism. They're equipping their people how to share their faith. And they're constantly, consistently, compassionately sowing seeds of awareness into their community. This has been a Converge Whiteboard Leadership Moment. To learn more about Converge or to join us, check out converge.org.